Do I look older? Wiser? More mature? Definitely feel it. I feel like 25 is an exciting year. But good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. As you can probably see from my surroundings, we have been in the full birthday celebrations these last few days. And oh my goodness me, have I had the best best birthday. I turned 25 this year and I kept joking around with all of my friends and family being like halfway to 50 because I love getting older. I feel like it's just so much fun and it's such an honour and a blessing to be able to age and get older and I'm really excited to like be officially in my mid-20s now. I feel like this is going to be a really, really good year for me and I completely took my birthday off from filming this year. I've been doing that for the last couple of years now, take it off from filming and I really just want to give myself like the grace between that like work life balance I want to be fully present fully in the moment because my goodness me did I have an amazing birthday with my favorite favorite people I spent the entire day with Alex on my birthday and then my family in the evening and then the day after we hosted the biggest garden party we have ever done here at the house and it was so much fun I think I mentioned in my last video that we were going to do it and I was initially planning on like hiring some catering and doing like a bit of like a picky board and things like that but we actually ended up doing like a barbecue and Alex did literally all the food all of the food and it was incredible i think i've got a couple of photos from um when we had the party and it was just absolutely incredible he did such an amazing job and it was just so so lovely to have everyone around me who are just my favorite people who i absolutely love to be able to drink and eat and celebrate and just enjoy all of the birthday festivities and yeah i had the loveliest loveliest birthday weekend if you follow me over on instagram i did like a little roundup of my birthday because alex took me on a complete surprise day like i didn't know what we were going to be doing and he actually ended up taking me to go and meet Highland Cows. Honestly, it was my favorite thing in the world. If you can see behind me, I am obsessed with Highland Cows. If you don't know that about me, I just think they are the cutest things in the world. And we actually had one come over to us. She was so inquisitive and so gentle. Like a couple of people messaged me on Instagram when I put the stories up being like, I would have been terrified if I was you, but they were so gentle. They were just quite curious. Like she let us feed her and like touch her. It was just absolutely amazing. And it's apparently one of like the few farms either outside of Scotland or like down south that they actually have Highland cows but it was just such an incredible experience because as much as I love them I've never actually met them like up close and they were huge they were just so beautiful and I honestly absolutely loved it I feel like my birthday was basically just like an encapsulation of my favorite things we started the day breakfast at Josie's in Romsey which is just my absolute favorite if you live down in Hampshire you'll know Josie's they do the first at breakfast we started off at breakfast at Josie's we then met the Highland Cows and then we went and had afternoon tea and it was at this amazing amazing place which I'm definitely going back to because we never discovered it before Alex found it and it's called the Garden Society and I feel like that's the best way to describe it because to call it a garden centre would be a complete understatement and like would completely undersell what it is it's kind of similar to Dale's food, but a little bit less like country Cotswolds and a bit more kind of like country cool, if that makes sense. Like it's really like young and trendy and they've got like loads of music playing. And apparently every single weekend they do like a cabaret performance, which is so, so cool. So we had afternoon tea there and then I finished the day at Limewood with my family having a lovely, lovely meal, which is just my favorite. And then of course the big party the day after. So it just was the most magical couple of days. And I'm feeling so, so grateful now and of course I have been saving putting my bits away and like getting things sorted in order to show you my what I got for my birthday video because I feel like we always do this every single year I love being able to like sit down and show you what I got because I feel like these are so helpful when it comes to either gifting for someone else or creating less for yourself because I don't know about you but people always ask me what I want because I feel like I'm quite a difficult person to shop for just because of like the nature of my job and stuff so people always want to make sure first of all they'll come to me and ask me what I want and my mind always goes completely blank. So I feel like these videos are always really helpful for that. And it's also great to be able to show you these bits in context because I always find it's weird when like bits start popping up and you're kind of like, oh, where's that come from? Oh, where, where did that arise? And I always feel like it's so nice just to be able to show you all of the pieces. This is my, what I got for my birthday video and 
yeah it really was the best birthday ever and i'm feeling so so spoiled so let's get into it you may have seen me fiddling around with this but this was my big present from alex a beautiful vintage style watch i've been saying that i really want like a lovely watch for a little while because i feel like it's such a great piece of jewelry to invest in it's one of those items that you can have for the rest of your life and it's just so easy to like style so easy to wear and i'm someone that has an apple watch which i really like using for when i'm on my runs when i'm at the gym things like that but it does look a bit spy kids-esque when you're wearing it with like a pretty dress or you know you just want to look a little bit more elevated so i did mention to alex that i was really on the hunt for a beautiful vintage watch and he got me this one for my birthday it is silver and it pairs so beautifully with my ring so i absolutely love it i felt so so spoiled when i opened that on my birthday morning because it is just the most beautiful thing in the world. This next gift is something that I would also mention that I really, really wanted because I feel like as an aspiring baker, I've been really missing this in my baking collection. This is from my sister and her boyfriend, George, Grace and George, we call them G and G. And this is a gorgeous cake stand. It's this absolutely beautiful, like white um, ceramic cake stand with a gorgeous glass dome lid. And as someone who loves baking, I love creating cakes. I always wanted to have somewhere beautiful to display them because I up until now, I've literally been wrapping my cakes in like cling film, just putting them on plates and wrapping them on cling film. And I really wanted to have a beautiful display for them. I also think it's so lovely when guests come around and you can just see the cakes down in the corner. You say to them, help yourself, let me grab you a coffee and they can grab like a little cupcake. I have a few little cakes left over from my birthday and they just look so, so cute in the cake stand. It's actually a really, really good size as well. She got me the bigger size and it just has the big glass dome over the top as well. It also means it's a little bit more sustainable because I don't need to have to like use cling film when I'm wrapping things up. I did actually get the most insanely large birthday cake for my birthday from Alex. It didn't even fit in this. It was that big, but I just thought this was so perfect for all of my summer baking. I cannot wait to see what else I am going to create. I'm thinking lots of like Victoria's sponges, perfect little puddings for more garden parties and having people around because you know, it's just my favorite thing in the world. A really lovely gift from G and G. They did it very, very well. Also from G and G, if anyone is from the Scandinavian countries, you'll probably recognize this chocolate. My sister travels a lot for work and she brought these home from me from, where was she recently? I think she was in Copenhagen or Sweden, but oh my word, they're just like the best chocolate. They're really like soft but still kind of like firm they are just so so tasty so she got me a box of these i'm not gonna lie already opened them and started tucking in but this chocolate oh it's amazing okay next up is something that i'm super excited about this is from my brother and he found this on tiktok shop and it's the one that is literally viral that everyone talks about and he was waiting for it to come back in stock for so long it's this really gorgeous glass with a straw it's like a juicer iced coffee cup and what i really like is you can take the lid off and use that as a coaster as well if you want but it's got the most gorgeous kind of like embezzled detail like embeveled mint going through the glass which i absolutely love and i love the fact that it's got a clear glass straw as well it just feels so bougie i cannot wait to have my morning iced coffees in this you can expect this to pop up in a lot of montages in a lot of intros to the vlogs because this is going to be the perfect thing for my iced coffees this summer also from my brother and his girlfriend matthew and charlotte found this at an antiques fair and oh my goodness me i'm so in love you guys know i've got my really really gorgeous little teapot that sits on my shelves behind me the shelves that are currently covered in birthday cards but they found this and oh my word i've looked into it online and it looks like it's really rare and really special it's this absolutely adorable little tea set it's gonna be so difficult to show you without kind of like letting it all spill over it's this gorgeous little tea set they are so tiny this literally reminds me of when i was a little girl and i used to like play tea with my dolls because they are the tiniest little teacups and the tiniest little saucers you have ever ever seen but look is this not just the cutest thing in the world i absolutely love the like gold leaf trim the beautiful pink roses oh my goodness me i can't wait to display these i don't think they're going to be used much because they are the tiniest little teacups in the world but they are going to make the perfect display on my shelves i'm so so in love with them and the fact that they are real antiques 
oh my goodness i am so in love because they're just one of a kind and they feel so special also from matthew and charlotte to add to my extensive rattan collection i'm going to put this upstairs in my office this is really gorgeous basket from h&m home i have a couple of these rattan baskets and i absolutely love them they're so handy for chucking in sunglasses accessories like hats scarves things like that it's just so so handy so i think i'm gonna put that upstairs in my office it's going to match perfectly with the decor and lastly from them my obsession with highland coos is well documented within my family look how cute this little coaster is i actually think i might use this outside because i think it's a really really cute little design it's this kind of like slaty um like ceramic i really like and it's got this like hand drawn highland coo on it it's just the cutest thing i've ever seen next up you guys know i am I am a faux flower girl through and through. Don't get me wrong, I love my real bouquets. I've been absolutely spoiled with bouquets throughout my birthday. This beautiful bunch behind me, I'm just so in love. We've got some stunning like delphiniums, we've got peonies, I love them, but obviously they don't last and you've got to maintain them, you've got to like water them. So I really love being able to have a few pots of faux flowers around the house just to make sure that I always have a bit of foliage. And this really gorgeous little hydrangea pot is actually an indoor outdoor pot so I can move it outside if I'm doing like a bit of a table arrangement and decorating outside or I can keep it inside and I love this like slate pot that it comes with it's so so beautiful so that was from my friend and I absolutely love it I think I'm going to be able to utilize this quite a lot for different kind of like tablescapes different like de decorations and design and you know how I feel about hydrangeas I just absolutely love the like white pom-pom flower oh just my fave next up is this gorgeous little lip duo from a friend of mine this is from fresh it's a care and cool lip kit so we've got two lip balms in here which will be perfect because i can keep them in different handbags and just make sure that i always have some lip care on me because i don't know about you but in summer I get such dry lips. I don't know why, but I just feel like I constantly need to like moisturize them and hydrate them. So this will be perfect to keep in my handbags. This is a little bit of a running joke and it's one of those gifts that was kind of like a bit of a jokey gag gift, but actually it's something super helpful and super important. Now this is actually a weighing scale. So if you can see, this is a strap that you basically put around your suitcase and it can tell you how much it weighs. Because if you're like me, and you are a serial overpacker, then you are always over the weight limit when you get to the airport. And there's nothing worse than being that person having to stand at the side and take things out of your suitcase or having to fork out a fortune in order to cover the cost of your suitcase. This is one of those where it's like, so many of my friends know that I am always an overpacker, I am always over the weight limit, and this is to help with that. So this is one of those gifts that honestly, I cried with laughter when I opened it. But actually, it's super helpful, and I'm going to utilize this a lot because I've got a lot of summer plans and lots of travel, so that's a great one. <laughs> I feel like we've had a little bit of an outdoor theme because you know what I'm like. I just love living in my garden throughout summer. It's just become my sanctuary and my oasis. And this is a really, really gorgeous garden wall clock from my friend, which I'm so obsessed with. It's an outside inside design. It's called the Bickerton wall clock and a thermometer. So it actually also tells you the temperature in Celsius or in Fahrenheit, which I think is so, so handy. So I think I'm going to get that mounted outside because I just think it's so gorgeous to be able to like fill your garden with these like lovely little decorations. And I love the like vintage antique feel to it. I think it is just so, so gorgeous. So I can't wait to put that outside. I mean, these two kind of like paired together. I feel like my friends definitely communicated before coming over with their presents because these are just so me. Another absolutely adorable little outdoor gift is this little tulip. Can you see this? It's so, so tiny, but it's this adorable little ceramic tulip and you basically just kind of stick it into a pot and then it just kind of sticks out. It's obviously evergreen, like no matter what flowers you've got in it, it's still going to look really pretty. And I just thought it was so, so cute. You know how much I love my pots. You know how much I love my cutesy garden design and garden furniture. And I thought this was just one of the most thoughtful gifts ever. And the last gift, from my parents was honestly the kindest thing in the world now they have one of these in their own garden and i've always commented on how much i love it as i said you know how much i love my garden you know how much it's just a sanctuary for me i love being out there just spending time pottering about in the garden reading like being outside in the sunshine and they actually got me the most gorgeous little egg chair i've got a video here because obviously it is outside i'm not gonna be able to bring that in to show you but i took a little video of it to show you what it looks like and i just love the little setup that i've done with it it's in the perfect little sunspot 
and it's just so lovely you can just like sit and swing and be it really does feel like i'm living like my best kind of like jane austen lifestyle in this just like being out in the sunshine and just soaking up being in my garden and as i said my parents have got one and I, every time i come around and visit i always set up camp in their swingy chair so i think that they took the hint and thought Ellie needs her own one for her garden so I was so so grateful for that from them because it is just absolutely gorgeous and every time we go to the garden center whenever I'm with Alex I always say how much I would love one so it was one of those gifts that I was so unbelievably grateful for and as I said I really did just feel so so spoiled for my birthday like honestly all of my gifts are so thoughtful they're so personal and they feel so me so I hope this has helped you if you maybe have anyone to buy for if you have like similar tastes to me then hopefully you can make a little bit of list and save a few things from this video and I always love being able to show you what I got for my birthday I really did have the most special 25th birthday this year and it was so so lovely to be able to take a little bit of time off as well but I'm so happy to be back decorations are going to go down today and then normal content will resume I have so much excitement planned for this summer like so many big summer plans if you haven't hit that subscribe button already I know a lot of you guys watch these videos without actually having hit that subscribe button so it would really really help me out if you hit it now it literally takes two seconds it's just down there and it just means that i know you want to come back for more videos because you guys know i upload every tuesday thursday and sunday and on that note i will leave you guys here i hope you're having the loveliest week and i'll see you in my next video bye